Hi, can I help you? Yes. People are saying she was trying to get information to Doom during the Helicarrier battle, but I don't believe it. There's still not enough evidence to convince me, and if you can't convince me, Fury will never believe you. While attempting to stop a missile heading for London, I fell into the ocean and was frozen. I stayed that way until they fished me out decades later. Yes, I'm sure it was the super soldier serum that kept me alive. But I've got to tell you, it's been quite a shock getting used to these modern times. <laughs> I've yet to figure out VCRs. Yes, his name was Bucky. He was a great kid and a great friend. He died in an airplane explosion, or it's assumed he did. His body was never found. Any time, friend. Hi, what's new? That the Imperium's a think tank? I think it doesn't look too good for Black Widow. Isn't it obvious? The Black Widow was trying to get information to Doom when she got caught in the explosion on the helicarrier. Yes. Bullseye attacked me to prove that he should be the Kingpin's number one assassin. In the end, he killed me with my own sigh. Several people tried to resurrect me. Eventually, someone succeeded, but it was Daredevil who really saved me. He gave me back my soul. Come back anytime. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to seeing Mandarin again. It's gonna be like old times. Oh yeah, me and Mandarin go way back. I've been locked up in his palace so many times I've thought about having my mail forwarded there. A genius, psychotic, delusional, and out to kill me with a vengeance. It all started when I was kidnapped back in my youth. My heart was damaged and my kidnapper refused to get me medical treatment until I created weapons for him. No. Another scientist and I designed armor that would keep my heart beating as well as help us get away. The armor worked, but my friend died during the escape. Yes. For the longest time, I wore a chest plate that acted as a pacemaker. No, my condition was corrected and now my heart is fine. Anytime, my friend. No problem. Mr. Stark, there's a Herald Hogan on my team. Hey, Johnny. How are things in Atlantis? No, not much changes there, Hank. Other than the fact that Namorita just keeps getting hotter. Their advanced technology that Mandarin took from the wreckage of an alien starship. He adapted them to serve as weapons. They offer a wide range of attacks, from force fields to ice blasts to disintegration beams. They make Mandarin a very dangerous man. That's a robot created by Mandarin to battle Iron Man. It's huge from what I hear. Ultimo's programmed to destroy all life in its path. The skin covering the robot is virtually indestructible, and its power source is nearly limitless. No problem, and come back anytime you want. Miss Bambi and Miss Heather are still waiting for you in 
Welcome. Do you have a question for me? He was the son of one of the richest men in China, but he was orphaned at an early age and was raised by an aunt who despised the world. Yes, something of a scientific wonderkin. Mandarin attended very prestigious schools both in China and abroad. There was a change in the power structure of China, and Mandarin lost all of his wealth and power. Anxious to return to that lifestyle, he ventured into the Valley of Spirits in hopes of making a major discovery. It is an area in China that had long been deserted. There, Mandarin located the shattered hulk of an ancient alien starship. The Axon Car, dragon-like creatures from the planet Maklu 4. Within the ship, Mandarin discovered advanced technology he was able to turn to his own uses. I am glad to be of assistance. Somewhere? Loki, are you certain your ploy in Atlantis worked? My good doctor, how could you doubt the god of mischief? My performance as Mandarin was flawless. Rest assured, the heroes will travel to the Valley of Spirits. I wonder who will be the worst for this confrontation. The heroes or Mandarin? It matters not, so long as one of them pays the ultimate price. The traitorous Mandarin will most likely meet his demise. But not without destroying several of Fury's lackeys first. Indeed. I would find it most enjoyable if my dear brother Thor were to fall in battle. Long as he been a thorn in my side. Oh, don't look so sad, Enchantress. When our ultimate plan is realized, you will find others more worthy of your attention than Thor. I should hope so, Loki. Still, it saddens me that Thor must die. He is truly a god to be admired. That pompous fool's overdeveloped physique is nothing compared to my conniving intellect. Now oh, I have longed to crush his self-righteous countenance beneath my booted heel. Silence! All of you. My scanners show the heroes are in the Valley of Spirits. We have set the stage, and the players have arrived. Now, let us watch and see who will survive this tale of deception. We've arrived at Mandarin's palace, Colonel Fury. All's quiet. Let's hope it stays that way. That's good to hear, Storm. Now all you have to do is track down Mandarin and ask him about the Masters of Evil. Tracking him down shouldn't be a problem, but living long enough to ask him questions might be a little difficult. Storm, I didn't think anything scared you. I'm not frightened, Colonel, just cautious. I've faced Mandarin's rings of power before. I hear you, Storm, but I have every confidence you'll succeed. You have to find out what Doom's planning next. Fury out. All right, my friends. You heard the Colonel. Let's see if we can locate Mandarin.
ahead of the enemy. I could really use some help here. Okay. Now that was fun. Another one for me. Let's keep it together, people. Get over here. Chill out, Mandarin. We're not happy about being here. But there's a few questions we need the answers to. I have no commoner for you to question whenever you wish. Be gone, or I will destroy you, Ms. Marble. Sorry, no can do. We saw you in Atlantis, and we need to know why you were there.
I have located the enemy. I have lost! Thor. Spider Woman. Moon Knight. Silver Surfer. Time to roll, team. Together, team. By your command. Uh. Attack the invaders! I cannot defeat this one alone. Be the 
some spider woman I've heard so much about. Close, but no cigar. You must be thinking of the amazing Spider-Man. No, no, no. It is you who are amazing. I have never beheld such a beautiful creature before. Put your hormones in neutral, Pierre. You're having a reaction to my pheromones. It's a power I can't fully control. Perhaps uh, you are right. I do find it difficult to think in your presence. Yeah, I get that a lot. Particularly in battle situations. Like now. Already you all there?